what's up guys welcome for another episode of Kenicho RN and it's been a while since I made a nursing video uh, it's ha happening to me lately but uh, the thing is that uh, I'm kind of like interested about surgeries I've been uh, doing surgeries for uh, a long time decades but the thing that I'm catches my interest now is that uh, since I'm in America the surgeries now are being done uh, in a high-tech way and that's gonna be robotics <laughs> Okay, so we are back and uh, since discussing about surgeries, if you're going to have surgeries, right, the thing that comes to your mind is that you're going to have a big incision in your belly if, if your surgery is in the you know, body area. Uh, and then you're concerned about the looks of it after your procedure is done. Now they can do it with some small incision now and you had a major surgery and you won't see it you know like little scar there in the side one little scar there in the side and that's because uh, now they're using laparoscopic that means they're using a sort of like a, a steel hand that goes inside your body or the best one is the robotic where the doctor can just do it by doing the surgery via screen and then a robotic arm Okay, so before we start, I would like to inform you that this is sort of like a general information. Do not uh, base this to your uh, specific case because each case is different. This video is just for an idea. Okay, so let's start. Let's just say you have a coming surgery or you have a family that's going to be having a procedure and um, both of them agreed on doing the robotic so what happens that uh, when you go to the hospital you're gonna do the same uh, usual papers you know legality you have to sign the consent and before you send the consent you have to ask the doctors some question and clarify whatever is in your mind before you agree to it you know so you send a consent and then your anesthesiologist will uh, also talk to you prior to the procedure and discuss what kind of anesthesia he's gonna be doing and then of course when everything is done you're gonna go to the operating room and for sure with the robotics you're gonna be sleeping with this one at the beginning of the surgery, the doctor will uh, do a trocar. It's a small incision that's gonna be uh, putting air or carbon dioxide to your uh, belly if the surgery is in the belly. Uh, and using the uh, carbon dioxide, it's a it's a non-inflammable uh, gas that's gonna be uh, giving the doctor a space to work on you know so they're gonna inflate your belly and then that's the start of uh, putting the uh, robot beside the patient and putting the arms in uh, their own specific uh, uh, you know numbers there's a lot of arms of the robot and the doctor will be the one who will uh, decide on which uh, arm is gonna be using because uh, each arm has a specific job there are arms that just use for cutting arms for grasping arms for you know stopping bleeding so at the specific moment of the procedure the doctor will change the arms from time to time with the help of his assistant so going back when the arms are all placed in a specific arm that he wants that's the time that the doctor will scrub out he's gonna go out of the uh, sterile field and go to a corner where the uh, main console of the robot is placed and he's gonna do the procedure itself usually when you do robotic it's kind of lengthy so that's why 
the robot helps. So as you can see here, you can really see the inside. Uh, this is just the dummy, but those hands are working, right? Uh, they can grasp a tissue, they can hold one part there, and uh, there's also a portion where you can stitch, you know, the, the, the tissue. And then uh, if another doctor comes in here and gives, uh, you know, some instruction, they can use this monitor to, to do a, uh, you know, a, uh, like the correction, something on that, on the screen. And uh, you can see that the monitor there, there's a number below, that's the arm. And you will also know what kind of arm it is. And yeah, and then can you just imagine yeah, your hands are so big and this one is so small. <laughs> it is so nice that uh, this day we had a moment with the company's representative. And thinking about the procedure, you know, when the doctor does the, the procedure itself, he's looking at a, uh, a 3D view. I always wanted to see what it looks like. And uh, thankfully, I was able to do it this day. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put my finger here. <laughs> Something like that. And what's inside? I really appreciate the view. It's very clear as if you're really working in the actual, uh, you know, tissue. And since we're here at the main uh, console, these are the controls where you can put your hands here to control the robotic arm. And then this is the, uh, the front where the uh, doctor can put their elbows in, the pedals so you can take pictures. I'm actually doing it. <laughs> and then going back to our topic where you have the procedure, right? And it's a different environment. It's a serious uh, scenario. But yeah, when they're done with the procedure, they're gonna take out the hands of the robot and then take out the robot itself and then they're gonna close the incision and then your anesthesiologist will wake you up. There you go guys, that's gonna be the robotic procedure. I hope I was able to give you some ideas and uh, hopefully I can do some more, right? So there you go. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Till next nursing video. Bye-bye.